Well, I thank you all for coming. Look, uh, the, you met with the leaders. I've uh, been keeping the, leader, the leaders up to date in terms of uh, the growth of our revenue. Uh, the thing that's been a challenge for us, or a good thing for us, is that we are continue to grow jobs. As you all know, we are, we are up now 460,000 uh, private sector job growth uh, over the past six and a half years. And I have always connected it to the ability of us to be fiscally sound. I was back on a call this morning with somebody who's thinking about moving their headquarters here. They say, how's the budget? I said, well, we have challenges with the budget, but that's, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't really put us into a, a weak position. We deal with the challenges as we see them. Uh, we have, we are announcing today that we will take the budget that we submitted and have to restrain the growth in that budget by uh, $400 million each fiscal year in order to get ahead of things. We have, we are seeing a, you know, not just a slowdown here in the state, but of course a slowdown in our nation. And, uh, you know, our numbers were, were, were pretty conservative, but really not conservative enough. And so it's important for us to get ahead of this. You know, back in the old days when uh, people put their heads in the sand and said, you know, we're all, everything's going to be great, we're not going to operate that way because we believe that our ability to be fiscally strong is, uh, is just vital for, for the continuation of, of job attraction. So uh, we're going to hunker down on this budget. We're going, we're going to scour every single part of the budget. And, uh, and make sure that uh, over the next couple of years that it will remain fiscally strong. But that means we have to take some action. The fundamental problem we face is a, uh, is a slowdown, uh, an economic slowdown. Uh, if you take a look at the, uh, the federal projections with the economists and what they thought, it didn't come to fruition. Uh, our concern, of course, is that will we, will we continue to have nationally, at least, continued slow growth, which clearly affects us. Can we, as a state, lift ourselves above the national economic growth? We have seen that in a number of years. It's important to point out that there were 19 states in America that cut their budgets, uh, and some very significantly, over the, uh, the last fiscal year. We were able to avoid that. Two-thirds of the states now are experiencing revenue issues. Um, so, you know, this is not something that is an outlier. The real question is how do you deal with it? Are you able to remain a rock solid? Are you able to make sure that your budgets are balanced? And um, we're going to stay on this uh, all the way through to make sure that the handoff that uh, particularly Cliff and I make to our predecessors, they're going to be in the strongest position as we can possibly do. Um, the, the President Abhoff is very well aware of all this. He follows these things very closely, and he wants to be in a strong position. And so I'm uh, very pleased to say that as a group, we'll work together uh, to restrain the growth in our spending and get ourselves in a position of where we can continue to main, maintain fiscal uh, stability. And you know, I've been talking about this now for months. And even though there's a few articles written in the paper, I'm not sure that everybody understands the gravity of the situation. It's not a situation where we ought to be in a panic or anything like that. It's a situation where we have to be firm. And as we deal with the challenges of slow growth, uh, and as we come through this, we'll come through this stronger and better. I pointed this out in the State of the State address. So uh, Director Keene has made some efforts to try to come up with a, a more appropriate number. And he has come up with the revenue estimates. And that's what we've agreed we're going to work together to achieve. Director.